eggs. All right, a lot of angles. Nair, soft or hard hit, and most importantly than ever, forward air. Through these three moves, very prominently used by Raptor, I feel like Raptor can do this. Raptor can, can secure his spot moving through the winner's side of the bracket. But there remains to be seen as we start game one immediately at the ledge of Smashville. Yeah, and it looks like even King Ark uh, needs to be a little bit careful. At the start of the match, he immediately put himself in the corner, and he's kind of been playing this offstage game with Raptor for the vast majority of the set and has not been working out for him already, getting a firm 80-plus percent on himself, unable to find a way back to the center. Oh, that was cute. Typically speaking, when you get the Bradfall, you see a lot of... Uh the Mega Buster into the Tech Read situation. But right there, go for the Metal Bleed, get the damage, allow King Ark to try to tie things back up here. I actually really like that. Also, it makes sure not to show Raptor his hand too early. King Ark has a lot of tricks under his sleeve when it comes to Mega Man. Mega Man has plenty of variable tools to put some work in against this character. And we're already noticing through Raptor's use of the Egg Toss that it's actually becoming very difficult for King Ark to deal with, right? He keeps throwing them uh, while probably ascending, and it makes it so he goes around the pellets or whatever predict- Oh, no. Bro. Oh, 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 oh. Who does Going that? Off the easy, man. I always say NBA Volume 2, that stretch with the Game Breaker, hitting them with the off the easy to convert to that KO. Beautiful. I think that's the first time in my life I've seen Raptor effectively use Egg Roll. He used the armor of the egg itself, and the hitbox to clash with a melon, uh, a lemon rather, and then just rolled right behind to be able to hit him. That's brilliant. For a move that Raptor says is more often than not a miss input, I love seeing that out of him. And I have to say this part, this part of this song is the best part. I'm oh, with the, they going with the banjo? Yeah, dude, bro, let me tell you. <laughs> this song though, but with that said, looks like King Ark still trying to find a KO as I say it. Finds it nice and clean, didn't even need a map. It looked like Raptor had actually died that fantastically, but just missed the tech on saving himself. Nonetheless, good on King Ark. See if he can try to take this stock, move that as forward as he can. It's gonna be difficult, especially as he keeps moving this battle more and more to the ledge, where I feel it's the most dangerous from the rack of the damage. And just like that, threatening kill immediately with an up smash. And now we're looking at the last stock for game one. Yeah, this already has fell up largely in Raptor's court, right? I mean, we have seen moments like that where King Ark has been able to use the Leaf Shield, but we've also seen different scenarios where Raptor's already in his double jump when he has a Leaf Shield thrown at him, and because he can't stay in the same uh, X horizontal plane, he only takes one hit from the Leaf Shield to actually able to punish King Ark for throwing it out. Oh, oh, all right, yeah, we just do Oh, no, you're coming back! Oh! Oh, yeah, you met. Oh, production. Oh. Be gone. <laughs> Never well, count crazy. down. Never <laughs> count out Rush Coil. Yeah. They always say that a dog is a man's best friend. Sometimes you just got to build a dog, just like you build the man. Well, I guess in this case, the robot. But King Ark staying alive a little bit longer. Let me see if he can at least get this stock before he tries to work on another bite. Raptor doing such a good job of extending his lead. Has him at 155. Even if he doesn't manage to get the KO now, his second stock will be primed and ready to find the KO option. Single hit back here typically leads into a lot of stray hits for Yoshi, but King Ark doing very well to drift away. Doesn't want to attempt to challenge Raptor. And good on him for that because he knows that uh, Yoshi can just put out a hitbox and end this stock. Even at 182, Mega Man being a heavy character, he's just going to fly off. Strong hit of Nair, strong hit of Bear. It's all Raptor needs to tie up game one. Yeah, bro, Bear really didn't need that in this game. <laughs> that is one of the bro, scariest moves in the game. Bear, Bear drags down. Single oh. hit Bear links into a like ton of moves. Every smash attack in the game. <laughs> forward forward tilt, it's a, it's a up smash. Back air, it's a forward smash. I've seen... Raptor, as far as you vile things with that move, uh, to say nothing of the other moves that got buffed on Yoshi, but I'll find another situation to complain about it. I mean, yeah, I mean forward tilt, I'm glad you brought it up, right? Cause it went from being like the, the boot. <laughs> so now it's a frame five combo starter that low profiles. It works really well even as it stales. Lynx is a kill confirm. That move is nuts. Now, You'll notice Raptor actually doesn't use forward tilt a lot. You'll find him using up tilt more. 
forward tilt is typically saved to try and confirm his kills instead of being a combo starter. And I feel that's actually a feature of his play that's sort of a, uh, a callback to how he played in Brawl and in Smash 4. A lot of his play is very much uh, like hold the ledge, like participate in neutral as often as you can. Just get your two pieces in here and there and fish around for fair because you know you're going to get a ton of damage off it, really good stage positioning, and more often than not, the kill. And I actually really love this ledge trap setup that we're seeing from Raptor, right? He's throwing the eggs right at the corner of the ledge. You can probably cover a neutral getup, but even if he decides to stay on the edge, it's going to get hit, right? So it forces him to pick an option. He either tries to guess or react to whatever he's going to do. Oh, spot dodge into the down B. Okay. Okay. Sing to him, Raptor. Let him know what you can do. What's funny is that this is a match that we can often see like on the house stream on the regular. This is this happens, it's, you know, fairly often. Whenever Raptor finds himself able to go to the city, he finds himself deep enough in brackets to meet King Art. His experience in this very matchup, same could be said for King Art. He's well aware of a lot of the things that Yoshi's capable of because of how often he gets to see Raptor and how often he gets to fight him. Oh my God. And one more of those would have been able to shield break. In fact, if King Art went up and used down air, it would have been able to get the shield break. But no shield break. Raptors has got to be careful. Start, start staying evasive. And Mega Man can take advantage of that fight. Man, I got to say, like, a Raptor has been <coughs> amazing at landing these down airs, man. I remember that used to be one of those moves where if a Yoshi threw it out, you're like, whoa, like, he actually decided to use that one. But he has been stepping all over my man's face, cleaning his shoes after he's shoveled some snow outside to walk in. He's like, damn, I am good. Let me go ahead and get more damage. And it's paying dividends once again. King Art kind of taking, taking some hits, but now he managed to find his footing a little bit. We saw he was struggling in game one to get his KOs, but he's been finding great use of that back air to secure his kills for himself. And even another one yet just to assert the ledge play. And you, were, you brought this up very early on into the set about how often we're finding themselves at the ledge and how well Raptor's doing to control it with Yoshi's tools. It's just, it keeps going on and on and on. And even though King Ark's doing a great job of staying alive and now even reversing the situation, I feel like Raptor's exclusively moving this battle to the ledge and he gets so much off of it. Yeah, you know, I will say for, for Raptor, it's kind of that scenario we just saw the ledge trapping scenario where he's waiting like maybe a rolls distance away, trying to scout out whatever option King Ark is going to do. But on the other end, oh my god, no! Every drop of it works. Oh, Look at sick. that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, sometimes you just got to put a good man down. What was I even saying? Ah, I remember. <laughs> I remember. Man. So Mega Man, on the other hand, for King Ark, He's gotten a lot of mileage in the offstage scenario, but literally when Raptor is offstage, he's managed to guess when he's going to double jump and throw an up air to intercept it. Or sometimes he hits him with a mix up where he's like, am I going to do the up air? And then he managed to catch the flame sword with the forward air and get a hit in that way as well. So that's how he was able to confirm the last KO, but now we have ourselves a tie battle and Raptor is working his way back. Working it back, he's actually managed to get all that percentage back onto King Ark. And once again, we're back at the ledge. Nairs, fairs, and bears, it's all that Yoshi needs in order to press the issue even further. But away with attack on shield, and all of a sudden, Leaf Shield's coming back out. King Ark's been putting such good use into Leaf Shield just to break the pressure away. Ooh, in the back here, almost enough to KO. And <laughs> gotta give a shout out to the Foley artist who made that sound effect, man, because, man, this sounds like you're getting slapped like 20 times real quick. A very, very good sound design. But we're gonna see if we'll be able to find the final hit. They're both in that juicy percent with that one strong hit. Yo, he grabbed the metal blade too. He was like, this is my win. That's mine. It belongs to me. And now, Raptor on the verge of a 3-0 with a King Art. Picked up the metal blade, stole his wallet and his girl. <laughs> he said, I'm cashing out. Today, Raptor finding the better end. But we will say King Art in that game two looking a lot better than that game one, right? and kind of see the slow development. And I will say, part of that is due to the adaptations that he's making, but I do actually think that Battlefield was a pretty good counterpick for him as well. He couldn't quite seal it out, but if he decides to go back to Triplats, I don't think that would be a bad idea. 
I agree. It, it looks like from the uh, the pick fan, we are going back to Battlefield. I feel like this is a really strong stage just because Mega Man's kit allows him to defensively and offensively make full use out of the stage. From the length of the base platform to the layout of the triplats, Mega Man is able to effectively play so well. He can play the defend the fort kind of game really well, which is why I keep on highlighting the value of Raptor keeping King Arch at the ledge so long because you don't get a chance to take advantage of all of that good stage play if you're never on the stage. Mind you, King Arch has done a great job of playing from the ledge, which, when you're not in control of the ledge, is just an unfortunate position for Mega Man, because eventually the projectile pattern is going to get caught. But King Arch staying alive as well as he is and keeping this battle as tight should be a testament to how skilled he is as a Mega Man player. And I really do love how Raptor is finding his way in to King Arc's uh, face, really, because, you know, against a character like Meta Man, who I mentioned before, you control the horizontal plane very well. It's like you're playing True America, right? It's like you're playing The Floor is Lava. You have to jump a lot to avoid this character. And Mega Man, to an extent, oh, get up, <laughs> has to guess, right? He's like, do I think you're going to jump now, or do I think you're going to try to approach from the ground? And Raptor has just been crossing up King Arc every single time. I love Mega Upper being used as a uh, an anti-air tool. <laughs> like it, usually we see it for the kill, but just the, the quick get off me. It's actually really good on this stage too. Yeah, it's a true Shoryuken, man. I mean, even uh, in Free Fire, you see someone jump, you mash that DP. Bro, wake up DP is the scripture for a reason. But I don't know if that's going to be enough for King Ark. He's finding himself at a very heavy deficit. You know, I was hoping, uh, especially with the way that game two was looking. Oh! Combo that into the electro shot. Yo, that was gross. I can tell you, just as someone who plays Mega Man, that hitbox is garbage. They actually made the move worse from Smash 4. So the fact that King Arc was not only able to get a hit to link into it, but for it to kill, superb. Superb! Just... The chef's choice. <laughs> the king, uh, the, the chef, Chef Ramsey put it on that one, man. That's the Michelin star. You need to be a Michelin star player because he is down a hefty amount but is racking up that damage. He needs to extend this as much as possible. And just like that, that 80% happened in the blink of an eye. When did that happen? King Ark is making the impossible possible. Listen, man, that's what Mega Man is capable of. All this projectile pressure. And you never get the chance to see Raptor breathe amongst it all. And it's such a variety of moves, too. Like, it's so technically demanding of King Ark, but he's answering to the call so well. And now, once again, forced to mix up what he does at the ledge. He's going to get caught with a forward smash. And now, it's his last stock, potentially his last life here in the winner's side of Rocket. Oh, but he did so much work with his second to last stock there. was able to rack up so much damage. Remember, he started that stock so far behind. If he's able to confirm the KO in just a little bit of time, he'll find himself in the perfect position to maybe secure a game for himself in the set. There we go. I, I, King Ark rewriting the rules here. Oh, what's good with Mega Man? When you when you believe in your character, you know you can just do anything with any of the tools he's got. So I'm loving what I'm seeing, but it's still quite a bit of hill to go through. Because now, let's say for instance, King Ark takes this. He's still got to go for two more games mm -hmm. of it. Hunter got himself into this 2-0 situation very quickly. But you know what I will say is that I think. You know, I mentioned earlier that he needs to figure out uh, when Raptor is going to jump, right? If you're trying to avoid all of his projectiles, and now he's like, you know what? I'm going to up smash. Nike slogan, just do it. And it's been paying off. Because he's like, all right, well, he has to at some point. And now we're even seeing that he's using Crash Bomber a little bit to force Raptor into shield and then guess his defensive option upon it exploding. Yeah, Yoshi being in shield has always been one of his weaker traits. So finding yourself into that situation on purpose is great decision making from King Ark. But talk about great. What about that DI from Raptor? Still staying alive. And with the footstool, King Ark snatches away the stock, snatches that game, and it's just staying alive just a little bit longer as we go into a game four. And that's the stuff I like, man, especially against Yoshi. You know, that's always kind of been a thing, right? He got his double jump, and especially throughout the different games in the Smash series, uh, his recovery has always been tweaked a little bit. In Melee, when he did the egg toss, he didn't go anywhere. It wasn't useful uh, in terms of recovering. You might throw one and then double jump, but you had to commit to that double jump. And then in Brawl, they're like, all right, let's make him like move a little bit with it. He goes up a little bit, but not significantly. And then you can kind of mix up, especially when adding the ability to turn tap jump off. Like, oh, I'm going to up B without burning my double jump now. And that helped him mix up the recovery game as well. But no matter what, the moment Footstools got introduced, if you were able to catch Yoshi with that, there goes your stop. 
now Game 4 is bringing us on to Pokemon Stadium 2. I was saying this earlier, but this is a phenomenal stage for Yoshi. The way that he can control the ledge, the way that he can force the battle outwards and cover every option is astounding. And we've seen how well Yoshi's been able to do that here. Raptor keeps on forcing the battle time and time again to the ledge. And even though King Arc is passing every pop quiz when it comes on what to do at the ledge, it's still a difficult battle for him. Like, by no stretch of the imagination is this an easy reverse 3-0 for King Arc. And you can see just King Arc's comfort with his character. We've seen him go uh, for the up tilt as an anti-air several times. You mentioned it before. And it's a really laggy move. You know what I mean? So the fact he's able to throw it out with such confidence just shows how comfortable he feels with the character. But now getting trapped at the ledge for who knows what time this set. And Raptor just keeping him there. He knows what his win conditions are. On top of that, the length of Pokemon Stadium 2 makes it a bit more difficult for Mega Man to be able to take back the stage and especially control center stage. It's longer than the length of his, the full range of the pellets. And because of that, King Arc's forced to approach if he wants to have any impact in his projectiles. Be they Metal Blade, which King Arc has put to fantastic use, or the bullets themselves. Raptor's always gonna have a safe approach inwards. And we've seen that he knows what to do once he's in. Oh, wow. What a lucky break for Raptor there. The trade, but does it matter? King Arc with the beautiful conversion off of the up air into the flame sword. I love that. That was so smart, too. Like, he's seen how well Raptor's gotten out of the, the, the air shooter for the sake of just being able to kill him off the top. But using it there as just a little bit of a hit confirm, just so he can connect with a move he knows for certain is going to kill, is genius. Even Leaf Shield, he's getting more mileage off of that move as well. It seems like for King Arc, he's really starting to explore some of the other options he maybe wasn't using as much in the earlier games in the set. And I was like, you know what? Leaf Shield, still good. Should probably use it a little bit more because uh, it's busted and it's, it's working, man. It's such a good move. Having a hack with hitbox like that is no joke. But same can be said for back end. It's, it reaches out so far, it lasts so long, it hits so hard. It's such a good move in Yoshi's kit. And Raptor, what are you doing? And why did it almost work? Yeah, and that's the thing where you're like, all right, he's charging a smash attack. I'm just going to use my invincible getup attack to get some punish, get some damage. Uh, not even going to play this game. Just make sure I get him out as soon as possible. And that flame sword almost killed. And yeah, that really has been the area that's been working out for him a lot in this game. It's such a good move because just as we were mentioning coming into this set, when we're talking about dead zones, Yoshi actually has a lot of the similar faults that Mega Man does. And Flame Sword is a great rebuttal to a lot of the aerial pressure that Yoshi wants to put on the board. Oh, and Air Dodge is going to come out from Raptor, but rolls himself into center stage. He's probably, oh, I thought he was going to send him off stage. He'll probably go for the ledge trap, but this time he actually opts to go for a juggle scenario. And looks like he's able to gain stage control because of that anyway. So Raptor making a different call, but not the wrong one by any means. Not at all. He's doing a great job of maneuvering around King Arc and even dashing right out of his range. It's has to push the down tilt from King Arc. We haven't even seen that move yet. But great low profile option. Playing with fire a little bit there, man. Almost got clapped. But just narrowly avoiding these options. Runs real and deep. Back, back throw, up throw? Ooh, up throw from the mix up. I like it. But hey, Yoshi's a heavy boy, and that's not a kill, bro. So oh. after, gonna have to get hit out by the charge shot in order to end that out, and at this rate, I like a version of game five. Oh, when? Oh, man. It's what I would say. He just cocked the head back and said, you're going to jump, bro. I can feel it. And jump he did. King Arc versus Raptor. Raptor uh, potentially going to go and close this out 3-1. He's able to confirm, but King Arc has been making some beautiful adaptations this set. Look at how much damage has been occurred just by Leaf Shield. It's such a good move, and it's such a great call-out to whenever Raptor decides to get himself out of shield. It's active for so long, and Raptor's not responding well to it. On top of the fact that he can be held while King Arch walks and runs in place, it's going to be able to cover whatever tech option Raptor decides out of his shield, whether or not he wants to roll or spot on. It's, it's working out so well for King Arch. Oh... Raptor, though, having a little bit of some momentum flowing. That's three consecutive hits in a row now. Finally, King Arc finding his way down to the base platform. But this is where the stress comes into play. There's so much more on the line here for King Arc due to the fact that he's down a game. Whereas for Raptor, even if he loses this, he still does have the comfort of knowing he has one more game to figure it all out. 
All right, now just trying to come back from the ledge, see what he can do. Egg is going to miss, and we almost hit the connecting up air into the back air. Amazing job. One thing I would really wish that Raptor would do is hold on to the Metal Blade. Stop putting it in a position where it could go back to King Arn. Whether or not he does instant air dodge to grab it out of the air, or he just tanks it and you, it has the ability to use it again. If Raptor can take that resource away from him, that can push the edge just a little bit more. Back throw from the center stage, not going to kill them. Yeah, you can tell he wants to set up the Metal Blade and use it to confirm to a KO, like right there. Maybe that could eventually hey, the Metal Blade. Just like that, we're going into game five, Flambo. Woo! That's Mega Man in a nutshell, man. Like, you watching them death battles, it's like, oh, Link, whatever, yada, yada, yada. He just has so many tools, right? And that's always just been Mega Man. Look at this. Rolls oh. back. <laughs> Who does that? And that's clearly a panic option, right? Like, especially when you're on the ledge and you have your back to it, rolling back is usually something you generally just don't want to do. It gives your opponent so much time to react to your defensive option, and you don't move anywhere, so it's like, oh, I'm a sitting duck, and that's why he got shot out of the sky. Well, I guess out of the ground, sitting yeah. duck, but you know what I mean. Game five now. Now's the time to figure out what's going to happen. And it seems like we're going back to PS2. I think this is a fine stage choice. The thing is that Kayark has been responding phenomenally to everything Raptor has to offer. And it's worth noting that Xeno, you know, we don't have to get a chance to see game fives. Usually, after game three, the same. After the 2 0, that's all you do. So here, this game five situation, King Art bringing the set back from the brink of death. Will he be able to clutch it out? Will we really see the reverse play up? Yeah, Mega Man is definitely one of those characters that uh, takes a toll on one's vitality, right? Like, you're thinking about uh, characters I really don't want to run into in bracket. For some people, that character is Olimar. For other characters, maybe it's Link. Uh, people with projectiles like this that can kind of keep you out and play that game, maybe it's a Belmont. They can be really difficult to deal with, and they do a lot on your mental fortitude. So being able to have to go to a Game 5 does mean I'm a little bit worried for Raptor. Can you deal with it, or are you feeling just fine? But judging by the way he's playing right now, I don't think it's getting to him one bit. Beautiful air dodge coming up from King Arc as well to avoid that potential punish from Raptor. But, wow, Why? Angel? I hate Angel, man. I mean, I think everyone does. I mean, the food's all right, but the move is trash. <laughs> Talking about trash moves being put to beautiful use. Charge shot, even though it has that laggy startup, King Arc has been putting it to such good use in this set. And I feel like it's working most because Raptor's forced to respect a lot of King Arc's tools. And finding himself in the zoning game, it puts him right in the line of fire for the charge shot. So even as King Arc goes through his typical zoning, like now he just has a more potent move to swing with. And I really do love the way that King Arc has been mixing up his recovery as well. We've seen Raptor try to hit him on various occasions, but very rarely actually comes out victorious because he's just able to mix the rush chest with maybe a double jump into an air dodge. Or maybe he just always mixes up the order. So it's hard for Raptor to know what to go for. Even here, throws out the Metal Blade and is able to extend his life a little bit longer, but Raptor finally able to find the KO. You know what? I'm just thinking now, Flambo. There's a few tools that we haven't seen Raptor utilize a lot in this set, and I'm wondering if it's just a matter of style in the matchup, or if Raptor's saving him for when he really needs, because one move that's been very curiously absent this whole time is the Yoshi Bomb. We have not seen Raptor drop down with it. Oh, and honestly, it. why does he need it? Oh, man. You gotta sit back, take a step back, take a breath. You are behind a monumental amount, young man. And if you're gonna bring it back, you best believe you better have your best mindset forward because Raptor is on the verge of closing out this set, which did end up going to game five. Shout out to King Art, but it could be over in the blink of an eye. Oh my God, the shield damage, a stabby. Look at that. I love when Raptor wraps back around to try and poke with the up air. It's so good. It's something that he's been doing for such a long time now, but it's so potent in this game between how good up air is and how well he's able to maneuver with down air. And now, that's what I want to see Raptor doing. Call out the charge shot. Move forward with a dash attack. It's not that great of a move from Yoshi, but in this specific situation, it's all he needs. Finally, Yoshi about making it. What the hell? Oh. Welcome to Collision 2019, where we have blue balls, a true story. <laughs> Lambo and Hangman. I just Hangman. want to go to game five. <laughs> 